Hey everyone, Gil here at Camp Panton Family Compound here in Idaho. Uh, got a little bit of gardening work here to do. It's going to be unusual on this one. So check this out. I got a bunch of 55 gallon barrels that uh, in California we were using in our uh, reclaimed water system. The uh, sanitary district there would give away up to 300 gallons a trip of treated water for use on gardens and lawns and stuff. And so I had these barrels set up. I go down, fill it up. You know, I had enough barrels, I'd make two trips on a Saturday. And I'd fill it up and we'd water during the week, during the drought. Well, I uh, don't have to worry about that here in Idaho. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these, I got a couple over here that I've already cut in half from uh, before down there in uh, California. I'm gonna cut all these in half. And it'll give me a total of 20 um, well, that, that would make it 27 and a half uh, gallon barrels. So 20 of them out here. Then I'm going to be filling up with some uh, really cool um, soil I got. So let's uh, take a quick walk over there and I'll show you the uh, what I got yesterday from a neighbor. All right, so this is my 12 foot long, 6 foot wide trailer. Sides are four foot tall, so it's about uh, 32 inches tall pile of manure. A very special type of manure. Uh, it's rabbit manure and some chicken manure in there. It's uh, Most of it is over two years old, been sitting there decomposing, doing what it's supposed to be doing. So this is ready to go in to the buckets. I'm going to um, layer it with some of the uh, bales of straw. I'll show you those in a second here. All right, a quick stop ahead and back over. This is the uh, bales of uh, hay gonna be I'm gonna be using for alternating with the uh, rabbit manure. Uh, these have been sitting here for oh, two and a half years. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure these, make sure I got the exact center on this. Uh, mark the rest of them and then I will get to cutting them. All right so now I got all the barrels marked I'm going to go ahead and start cutting them. I'm going to use my little miter saw, trimming saw, whatever you want to call it. And that's how long it takes. So I'm not going to bore you with all the rest of them. I'm going to go ahead and cut them up and then we'll get back at it again. All right so I got them all cut in half. The top halves have the bung holes in them and some other holes I drilled in there to use so I don't have to worry about those for drainage but the bottoms are solid so I'm going to have to cut the bottoms. So I toss this off the side here and to cut uh, these what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut some little grooves in it for uh, drainage. Alright that one's done. And I'm just going to repeat this with the rest of them here. And that's it for the battery. <laughs> that's it for the battery on that one. So I have to go get another battery. Yeah, uh, I could take just like a drill and just drill a bunch of holes, but I found out the uh, the, the slots work a lot better for uh, drainage. Let me go change the battery and I'll get the rest of these done. Well, it's uh, getting late. Sun is slowly sinking into the west. And I got all the barrels uh, cut and done. All the, the slots on the bottoms cut. So it's uh, draining good. And then I'll start putting in the straw, the manure, the straw, manure, straw, manure in layers. And about halfway up, I'm going to the the uh, fines that I screen out of the rock pile here. Uh, the fines I'll put in there in about a one inch layer in the middle of it, and I'll give all sorts of minerals for the plants that what they need so they can grow properly big and do all sorts of incredible things. If you're wondering about that, well, hey, you should have been on the. Uh, my live stream tonight, Saturday the 4th, we had the Green Wizard on there. And we were talking all about minerals for plants and how it makes the plants grow better 
and provides minerals then for us when we eat the the bounty of the of our plants and so in the morning i'll get the, the coyote tractor i'll bring the stuff over from the trailer over there and fill these up in the hay get it all filled up and taken care of with that i will see you in the morning uh, for me it's going to be a while for you it's just going to be a few seconds all right guys so uh got the 20 barrels out here they're all full or almost full oh look 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 how nice this stuff is look at that that is some nice stuff there and so over here same thing over here these here yeah so got them all done I've got two of the barrels, half barrels over they're going to bring over. I'm going to put one, one here and one here. That makes it five deep on all three rows. Gives me a nice little area in the middle there to work around on them. I'm going to have to go to uh, Home Depot and get a roll of uh, concrete mesh wire. You can just basically it comes in a roll so you just cut it, put the roll, put the, what you cut off around each barrel there. That way it will work great for holding tomatoes in or keeping um, other pests out. Um, also once I have them all wrapped with the concrete wire I can then just uh, put some clear visqueen around and make little mini greenhouses. As always stay happy, stay safe, stay prepared especially in these times. If you don't have a garden seriously consider putting a garden in. It can be uh, containers, it can be you know like you know barrels like this you can get these barrels just about anywhere um, you can get the smaller ones that are just a little bit smaller this at Home Depot and Lowe's when they're on sale there's a lot of ways you can do it uh, you can do a uh, milk uh, gallon milk jugs cut, cut the top off fill it up put a plant in it put it in the windowsill whatever you need to do get a garden in um, there's no telling how long this is going to last and how it's going to affect the, the food supply chain Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video, all right?